Hi, my name is Suraj and I'm a developer at Facebook AI. Today I'm going to talk about a project called ThoughtServe in a way that is both quick and simple. Let's go. First, let's start with what ThoughtServe is. ThoughtServe is an open source model serving library for PyTorch models, jointly developed by PyTorch and AWS. Just as an app server like Flask or Django makes it really easy to create a web app or an API, ThoughtServe makes it easy to deliver your trained PyTorch model at scale without having to write a lot of custom code. So to get started, ThoughtServe needs at least three things to begin serving your machine learning model. First, you want the model definition. This is the file that contains the model's architecture in code. Next, you want the model's parameters. Parameters are the model's weights and other buffers. These are usually stored in the model's state dictionary. You also want a handler file, which contains functions to initialize the model, pre-process any inputs from the client, run those through the model for inference, and finally post-process the model's outputs before we return them to the client. Using the torch model archiver utility, these three files are zipped into a model archive. This archive serves as a self-contained package that makes portability and reproducibility easy. To launch TorchServe, you pass it the model archive file you just created, optionally along with some server configuration. Under the hood, TorchServe loads the model from the archive into the server backend. Once loaded, TorchServe assigns the workers to handle the model. As you can see here, you can serve multiple concurrent instances of your model and even serve multiple models on the same host. You can define how many concurrent instances you'd like to serve by configuring this TorchServe property. So once your models are loaded, TorchServe spins up an inference API. This consists of endpoints which clients can send their input data to to receive the model's predictions. When an inference request is received, the functions that are defined in your handler file are used to process the inputs and return the model's outputs to the client. The quickest and easiest way to try out TorchServe is using Docker. Simply spin up a container with a TorchServe image, package your model archive, and launch it. Make sure you select the GPU image if you're running TorchServe in a GPU environment. And that's it. You're ready to start using TorchServe to scale your PyTorch models. Want to learn more? I've added links to the documentation and the GitHub repo in the video description below. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Please comment on what you'd like to see next in AI ML from Facebook. And thanks for watching.